Good morning. Waking up here on Turtle Island to the sound of the jungle outside the window. Sounds very good. We're very tired. And this <laughs> dad. It's currently 6 a.m. here, fast turnaround, and we're about to head off on a boat to the Orangutan Rehabilitation Center and then end up on the river. Anna, how do you say the river name? I, I've never heard in my life. <laughs> I don't even know where we're going. Look at the palm tree. Now we gotta go. Nice, guys. This is where the sun, <laughs> this is where the sun rises. Miss it or I don't know. He might have just hatched and snuck out. Look at the baby. Ah! This is where the rangers dug up the hole and buried the eggs last night. Now it is breakfast time. Anna is pumped up. Anna, give me a woot woot. She's too tired to give me a woot woot. Let's go get some breakfast. About to get buzzed. I think both Anna and I can agree that that was one of the best islands we've ever gone to. Not only was there so little people on the island all day and night, it was just a crazy cool experience to see the turtles released into the ocean. Now we are off to see the orangutans. So this is Alan. Alan. His English name is Alan. <laughs> That's a good one, I like that. Emeril, our guide, is telling us that kids here have birthday parties at KFC. It's that big, so it's very interesting, the difference between America and Malaysia. All right, so I'm gonna sum up exactly what Emeril just told us. There's two types of orangutan. There's the Bornean orangutan, where we're at right now, and then there's Sumatra, which is Indonesia. In the past 30 years, 30 years only, half of all the animals here were wiped out. That is because the palm oil industry and pollution combined. So palm oil is Borneo's biggest crop here. It's vegetable oil, so it's in a lot of foods, like candy, cookies, everything you eat basically. Plantation companies will wipe down so many trees to plant more palm oil to sell. And that is causing total destruction of the rainforest. It's insane what we just learned in that little car ride to the orangutan rehabilitation center. We're here a little bit early, about 20 minutes early, but here's some more facts for you that are very interesting. Sadly, there was a lot of rhinoceros around here, rhinos, and there's only one left that's in captivity just to keep them alive, but that's pretty sad. Just totally extinct. Insane. We are headed to the juvenile sanctuary first. There's no gates or anything. They roam free, which is awesome. And they're the horny ones, so of course. Okay, so right now I guess we're just waiting to see if we see one. We gotta look up in the trees and keep our eyes wide open for these babies. Back, move back, move back. Huh. Look at this thing. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, here he comes. Here. Dude, don't run, don't run. Don't. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. This is so insane. It was like an adrenaline rush. Yeah, they're just climbing everywhere. I did not expect this tour to be like this. This is amazing. Here comes another one, guys. Here comes another one. So 
Oh, there's an orangutan right there. <laughs> it's so pretty. Headed into the nursery right now. It looks like we're one of the early groups, so we get a good view. All the way by the way. Oh, yeah. Emerald told us that the rehabilitation center feeds them the same food every day so they get they get bored of the food and then they head on to get their own food so it's part of their rehabilitation process if they don't come for food time that means it's a success see all those bananas Alright guys, so now we're done with the orangutan rehabilitation center. Now we're going to go to the sun bear. Emerald just found a massive spider. Look at this. I see it. Oh boy. That is massive. He just said a bite from that thing would feel like you got shot with a gun. Oh my gosh. What's so special about these bears, Emerald? These bears are the world's smallest bears. And uh, they can climb up trees. Oh. They sometimes sleep up on the trees. They eat honeys, termites, philippines, rambutans, durians, jackfruit, everything. There we so, go. Yeah. <laughs> All of it. Amaral, my friend here, has never had hummus or tacos. Very sad. Very sad moment to know that. <laughs> we gotta give them some. Here is the list of sponsors for um, Sepalak. And right down here it says the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. Cleveland is the reason. Cleveland! This is for you! That's where Anna and I are from back home, so go Cleveland! And then uh, the one in Borneo is a unique... That millipede we just saw was the tractor millipede walking up the stairs, and that is what the sun bears like to eat. That and termites and honey. They got long tongues to lick honey out of trees. There they are! <laughs> We're at a local restaurant right now and no one's here. Buffet to ourselves. Best day ever. Okay, we have chicken, salad. Are you kidding me? We have salad, fried noodles, we got rice, pumpkin, pickles. I think I said that. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Now we are going on a two hour car ride into the jungle towards the river. Kinabatangan River. Someone explain how to say that. I'm bad at it.